So Politico today reporting that during Herman Cain's tenure as the head of the National Restaurant Association, what? Herman Cain was a lobbyist? You know, I have a theory about this. Um, Obviously, this stuff was put out by one of the rivals to Herman Cain. I don't think it was Mitt Romney, because uh, Herman Cain is Mitt Romney's blessing. He's basically been able to fend off all these other um, right-wing conservatives on a national level. But Herman Cain has no organizational structure to run for president. He has no ground game in Iowa. He has no ground game in New Hampshire. I don't know if anybody from his campaigns ever visited South Carolina. And you simply don't win elections that way. He has absolutely no operation. So my guess is this is put out either by Rick Perry's campaign or by a rival campaign who hopes that they can be the uh, vice presidential nominee. Now, the funny thing about it is, is that, well, let me continue and explain. At least two female employees complained to colleagues and senior association officials about inappropriate behavior by Kane. ultimately leaving their jobs at the trade group, multiple sources confirmed to Politico. So it turns out, and the Kane campaign, incidentally, has not issued a denial of the charges that he uh, settled sexual harassment claims against him at this time. My, uh, what I, from what I've been reading, this Politico story is well-sourced. Cain was the president and CEO of the National Restaurant Association from 96 to 99. And uh, the question is, do Republican voters care that a guy has been um, sexually harassing women at the workplace? I don't think so. In fact, if anything... I think this is you're going to see an uptick in Republican primary voters in support of Herman Cain. And to be honest with you, I'm not even convinced that the Republican campaign that leaked this information, this oppo research, they call it, was actually terribly, uh, was hinging any of their uh, hopes on uh, the fact that Herman Cain has a problem where he likes to take liberties with his female co-workers or people who are working for him, I should say. I think this is just a way to remind the American public that Herman Cain was a lobbyist (laughs) more recently than he's been the head of any pizza uh, sales. It was one of the top 25 uh, lobby operations that, uh, and there's thousands that were lobbying the U.S. government. Uh, In fact, he ramped it up quite a bit. The year before he took uh, the helm, the association represented 150,000 food uh, service establishments, had uh, uh, roughly 115 employees, and a government affairs budget of nearly $20 He expanded upon that. So you've got, uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars this guy is using just to lobby the U.S. government. I have a feeling we're going to hear a lot more about that in the next Republican debate than we will about Herman Cain's propensity to take, um, take advantage of his position as boss to sexually harass women.